Yo, 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 fan, I'm still on vacation, but at least I'm going to try to talk about the update details. I'll be doing some more videos when I get back next week. So let's get started. August 13 update details. Uh, so there's a lot of broken things in this patch, so I'm just going to be going down in a bunch of reworks as always. Skip to the image of what you like most. Play in fast version, broken art or strikers. Uh, Yuri is still trash, some cool skins. And they've changed a bunch of balancing. They've maintained all kind of broken. And they've pretty much created uh, two new legends, Erika and Cassiel, who both have some new broken skills. So let's go down more in detail. Uh, now for the Art Girl. Girl. Uh, fast version, the issue is more with her pass. With her pass, pass. Um, increased penetration, max life of Ardor players. This means that Ardor now has two penetration aces. So yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this, but let's keep going. Recover target action bar, increase pass effect, receive, and target's penetration. So combined between her ace and this one skill, that's already 50% penetration if you're not even mono. That's really broken, but that's not over yet. Decrease the penetration resistance by 15%, critical resistance for three minutes with a pass. So in total, without even looking at burst, this does mean that she gives a 65% penetration advantage, who's, well, just broken. I don't think I need to explain to you how that is. Uh, Dream Girl 2, increase the reflex by 30%, critical damage by a balazer in the position. Reflex not that great, critical damage, why not? Decrease incoming damage by 20%, increase the action speed by 20. Action speed school, I don't know why we need this, but okay. She is ridiculously powerful. Doesn't even need to be mono order to show some talent right there, but we'll see exactly how people start using her. Leary, EE. -E. Well, that, no. Actually, let's just look at the reverse chains. Danby Thunder, we don't care. Again, on no shit. Rowena, Victoria. Irene and Miki. Yeah, Victoria is going to be really valuable there. Uh, Lois, not that much. I mean, chain wise, it's not going to be that great, but the Victoria one's pretty damn decent. Oh, uh, now, Leary. Uh, well, she was bad, and well, she's still bad. They've increased this by 10%, so reflex and decrease inflicted damage of steel, but it's with a steel, and there's a cooldown, so it's not that great. Uh, damage enemy teams action bar 15%, spirit by 30% when being counterattacked. Again, that's not the best thing, but okay. Now you steal more spirit and more action bar. The problem with this skill is that it's really hard to proc, so most people don't use it. Um... The passive skill has been changed. Increase the attack power by when attacked, when being stolen or attacked. I, I don't I don't really know how to respond to this because that is the exact same thing. You're attacked when you're being stolen. I don't know what the difference is, but maybe it didn't apply. I mean, I have her. I just don't use it. Uh, blah, blah, blah. No, pretty, pretty bad. Uh, skin wise. Yes. Those are badass. I want this skin. I also want this skin. And when you start realizing the changes they've just done to his kid, you might also also want to run him. Now, uh, new character stories. Don't care, don't care. Okay, we're done with that. Draw-wise, Melissa Ardor. If you're Ardor, draw. If you like penetration, draw. Like, just draw. This is like the Rainbow Week. There's Duran, there's Jibril, Rainbow, Ardor. Draw, draw, draw. Also, Wormwind, draw. Draw. Very simply, following week, Erika, Black Tortoise, Haru, Liuri, Avnor, Vonchi, Presti, Light Dark, just for the legends, really. There's, there's nothing really great this week. Honestly, I wouldn't even say it's worth doing it unless you're specifically needing one of these two legends. Chain Helper Rotation. What do we have? Finally, something I want. Lenmi, Renee, Iki Ire, Askelad, Altari, Black Ivy, Huron Rad, Zebroy. Actually, I, I might have an Askelad chain. Okay, this could be good for me. Uh, featured improvements, Lois, Classic Star, uh, boss match against Fontas, those minions are bad, so that's going to be pretty sad. New soccer, ball, skin, they're all bad. Stop with the skins, guys. I don't want to use them. Anyway, balancing, this is where the broken stuff's going to go down. Uh, the effect of the skill fast handling to fast selling 2 has been changed. Always start a match with 30% action bar and decrease incoming damage by 35% on position in the goalkeeper position. That's fine. Uh, recover 20% of the action bar and decrease incoming damage by 35% when the ally team is attacked. Pretty much just like insane action bar recovery right there. Uh, incoming damage. I don't, I don't fully know if this means that he needs to be attacked with someone else for this to proc. I'm guessing when he gets shot it's also fine. 
uh, but this will mean that he's pretty much always at 80% action bar. For PvE, there's some huge value right here. For PvP, it's not going to make a huge difference. All the goalkeeper is going to do is block anyway, so just more a nuisance. Now, where it gets interesting is here. Decreased penetration by 15%, critical rate by 20% of enemy currently in the assigned position, 5 minutes with a pass or block. Change. Decrease the penetration by 10% and critical weight by 20% when you currently in the position with a pass or block. Accumulates up to two times. So they increase the penetration resistance by 5% in true because it's double and crit rate resistance by 20%. The thing is with this skill, it's now ridiculously easy to proc in five minutes just because you need to be attacked twice to be at 40%. I mean, on top of it, if you're using anything that buffs buffs, it's, it's just ridiculous. They attack a Metatron and they're giving you... I, Thing what 32 percent? Well, because I'm, I'm always considering you have a Jiho, plus this is an order of goalkeeper, so there should be a Jiho. So, yeah, this looks completely broken and easy to abuse. On top of it, order has a penetration resistance unique. This just bullshit right here. And if you thought this wasn't broken enough for Ardor, knowing that right here he already has um, a 20 percent penetration resistance, you add the unique. Well, they decided that Erika was now going to change from max life to ardor players to max life and penetration resistance. So now he's at 30% pen rate before even looking at any stone. I think they're kind of going too far. I know pen's kind of gone a bit haywire, but when you look at now, ardor will have a goalkeeper with 30% pen res and 115 penetration frontline, there's a little bit of a problem in my opinion. Well, to fix that, they decided to nerf some other players, like Tyler, who barely anyone uses, and who was completely fine in my opinion. Really good for good old current lines, well, now they've messed up with that. Uh, what they've pretty much done is increase attack rate critical rate by 30-50% with an attack, to increase attack rate and decreasing cutting damage of the allies currently in the assigned position for 3 minutes, but it's also when being attacked. So they're really trying to force you to put him back in backline, where he's supposed to be, who just, well, honestly sucks. So, yeah. Is bad. Now this is where you're going to start realizing something is being broken. The reason is Cassiel, as I've already made a review, was good but just didn't excel in everything because he was helping for reflex buffing but he was himself running counter attack resistance which just didn't make sense in the kit he was running. Now the kit's making even a little bit less sense since they removed even more of his damage but now if you do the math he finally has and is the only life player uh, who has a permanent line buff who is stronger than Victorious because he has 25%. And now they've changed the attack power and uh, reducing coming damage of an attack to another 30% decrease. So that's a 55% control, who is honestly one of the strongest values in game. The only player who can actually match that is Beth, but it is a stackable, so I wouldn't count it. Meaning, he broke in, and if you're mono light, it's time to actually now take him out. And you will no longer have some reflex problems in mid thanks to this little change. So yeah, overall that's good. Just don't await him to penetrate as easily and give him some higher damage output. Be aware he will be destroyed because he no longer has any form of damage resistance. Outside of the fact that attackers have 50% DR when they're holding the ball. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, based on the recall clause, Black Ivy will be recalled. Okay, I think they mean Cassiel because I don't know why Black Ivy is related here. Um, the effect of Funner will be changed. Penetration became into counter attack and defense for six minutes. Going to counter an attack power. Okay, this really doesn't make a big difference, but okay. Uh, bug fix, uh, fix draw skill, uh, added special players to champion with going to despair. Okay, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm good with more players I can get. Uh, modifying counterattack immunity effect and parent skill function properly on certain players. Please tell me there's no one I use in here. And now we good. And fix the XPR of penguin that are being given out as rank achievement rewards. I mean, there, there's so many mistakes. So yeah, uh, retrieval process, rank achievement reward errors. It's like they keep trying to take our legends back every single error they make. Um, so yeah, material, developer comment, we have retrieved all the rank achievements. I'd like to point out that uh, a lot of us still don't have Parabellum, it's been two seasons, but when it comes to you accidentally giving us a legend, you're gonna be fixing this right away. So yeah, do, do your job properly. Anyway, 
hope this makes you understand how our door is going to be broken as hell. And uh, Light finally has a strong midliner who's not a legend. Have a good day, guys, and catch you next time.